try the Rio. This is MP3. It's not that strong. It's pretty solid, you know. And I think when I upgrade it fully completely, it'll be a lot stronger. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. Uh, armor penetration is not that strong in this gun. It's, it's pretty solid. Like, six or seven bullets, it will get there. But the thing with this weapon is the fire rate. The fire rate just extremely fast. It's on point. You know, it's straight on point. Um, the damage as well, like, since it has a lot of fire rate, it just has a lot of damage. But it's not as powerful, you know, the damage isn't that high. It's just it's normal. You know, if, if you get a headshot, you get a headshot, like right there. It's just normal, you know, feeling to it. It reminds me a lot of COD. And I just picked that up, and I just thought about, like, playing it as, with, like, a COD weapon. And it's just straight off looks like that. The thing is, you have to make sure you hit your targets. That's the main point of this weapon. You have to be really accurate with this weapon. So, if you want, like, for example, I'm missing some of my shots, but by the time I get my shots back on, the gun can overload. So be careful not to get your gun fully overloaded. Like, my gun right now is fully overloaded, and I can't really do anything. And it's gonna eventually, like, give me a cooldown. So, uh, make sure you guys don't get the cooldown. Um... Alright, that's pretty much it with this weapon. It's very awesome. I actually like it. It's not as overpowered, or it's not like... Uh, it's actually really decent. You know, people like right now in this game, as you guys are watching, players have, have COD. They have PR-39s. These guys are beating me. There's, like, I'm not going 30 and 0 or anything like that. These guys are pros, and they, I mean, maybe. I don't know. They're, they're really good. They've just been killing me this whole entire lot. So... Um, uh, basically, they, they've been, they were able to kill me, even though when I fully spray this gun ahead of them, they sometimes miss it, so, this gun is not as powerful, and it's not as bad, so it still has, it's like a normal, decent weapon, and I like that, it's, it's not overpowered, it's just completely nice, uh, this is the only thing about this gun, it's great, I like it, and I'm gonna be bringing more gameplays on that, I'm gonna be moving on to the next topic here. Alright, so I got my little friend here, his name is Joker Gaming, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how it works. I'm going to shoot him, and this blue thing pops right into my bottom of the screen. There's like a little, uh, like a sparkle thing. It goes right into there. It goes straight into there, and it's basically, it's like a modification during the game. So if you get a kill, you get this modification put into your game. So I picked up a assault perk, which is, see, it goes right back into my screen, and I can cancel it if I tap on it, but I don't want to cancel it, it's uh, a big thing, it's a big improvement, so right, what's the description for this first thing, thing assault, your weapon has increased bullet damage, that's a big thing, and I wouldn't want to cancel that, that's definitely what I need for my gun, um, especially, you know, like, whenever I play with this weapon, you need bullet damage, so, whenever you see one, and you get a kill, it goes right, you see, like, I got the extended mag. Alright, so these are the extended mags. Basically, magazine size is increased. So, I don't really, we can't really tell how many bullets we have in each of our weapons, but the magazines have been increased. That's a big thumbs up. I would definitely probably take this one on. I wouldn't want to cancel it out anytime soon. So, yeah. Alright, we're moving on to the shotgun one. So, whenever you see a, like a road down arrow, it's basically enhanced close range bullet damage. That's very important, but, again, I probably wouldn't want to cancel it. Every single one of them is actually really good, but I'm going to have to cancel out shotgun. Alright, moving on to the next one. The next one we have is the bullet icon. Whenever you see the bullet icon, it's SBR, basically upgrades weapon rate of fire. That's also very important, and I would probably take that as well. So, if you have that on, and the extended mags, voila, you're OP, man. Moving on to the next one. Next one we have is like a shield icon. Basically, it's rocket. It provides additional damage resistance. This is also a good thing, but I'm, I'm actually playing a lot of battle modes now, so I don't really need it. I'm going to cancel that out right away. So we're moving on to the next one. Now, this one's a big one. I definitely recommend this one. It's the SMG weapon accuracy is improved. Honestly, it kind of explains everything right there. You need this. It improves your accuracy so much. So definitely pick this up. And yeah, I would definitely pick it up. So never cancel that one off. That's the one of the best. Next up, we have the sniper. 
basically improved bullet damage at long range. This is definitely another thing I would add. There's so many good things you could add, but it's just you gotta figure out which one you like the most. And it just all depends on what game you're playing, what mode you're in. That's basically all it, you know, and it's really, really, really fun to play around with this. I actually have been playing around just for fun, and it's been really, really cool to find out, like, hey, you know what, I want to play with this one, or that one, I want to cancel this one out. So, um, yeah, definitely a big thumbs up, I like this. The next one we got here is Experimental. Basically, increases armor penetration. This is what we need, so honestly, if you're playing with a bunch of people with really heavy armor and you can't really kill them, you can pick up this one and it would just destroy them with those armors. So, again, like, it depends on what you're playing against. And right now, I'm just playing my game.